I've grown up in Livonia. We've lived here for 10 years. And before I even moved here, my mom and my family told me that this city had a racism problem. We have a neighborhood Facebook page in this city called All Things Livonia. And um, after George Floyd was murdered, there were three women who are on that group who were like, okay, the increase in comments and the tension is just not good. They were like, okay, we have to do something that is actively anti-racist. So they set up the Facebook group. Let's put it on a sign so we can all start talking about it because you can't change what you won't talk about. Livonia doesn't allow billboards. I wanted it to be somewhere where people were kind of headed into the city because, you know, we've got our population. We're maybe like 4% African American, 2% Asian, and 90% white. So putting it in this city, you know, people kind of have proven that they're apathetic, you know, they're not willing to you know, do something about it. So we wanted it to be where, you know, people are on their way in so that they could see. Some have called the billboard a warning to minorities. We don't need to be warned, like people know <laughs> and have known for years. Even as a child, I remember the stories. Some people need a sign. So here's the sign. <laughs> Every single person saying that it is racist or divisive or even that there's no profiling in Livonia, these are all white people. There were some very public threats today that our billboard was going to be blown up. They were trying to identify members of the group and threaten them personally. This is not our first step. This is like our 14th step in trying to get these things done. We were recently told that it would cost up to 12 grand for the FOIA request that we wanted. So that's not transparency because not everybody can afford 12 grand for a FOIA request. I find myself saying, oh, it's been two or three months and it hasn't. It's been like just over a month and it's all just moving that fast that it feels like so much has happened. It wasn't difficult to, you know, grow the group. I, I can't even really remember how I got involved in the group. That kind of tells you kind of how fast things were moving. And I would say the growth um, in the group just demonstrates that people in Livonia are ready for change. <laughs>